Hello everyone, I am Asif Ali and you are watching CGI video and this is the next tutorial in this Niagara intro series the basic tutorials of Niagara and in previous tutorial I created this basic fountain from scratch I, I showed you the basic modules, basic settings, how to delete, how to recreate the modules and in this one I will show you the GPU particles and light how to connect light with the particles so just start this first of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification so you have this Enter here in this system and to add light with particles you have to just click here on render and light and it's not visible currently in light setting you have to just see the radius is one and it's taking color from the particle color if you want different color you can just put it here so like if I want blue color on these particles but it needs a very high value so I just place 10,000 value here and you can oops I am placing green so it's a green light here you can see and if I want the particle colors light so just turn it zero I just turn on effect translucency and in color I will just increase the color here and it's now taking the color from particle color and I will increase the size like 5 and you can see the color light here and in this scene I have a post volume that I will delete for now you can see so if you want to see it properly I will just decrease the size of particle and now you can see the light and I can now even more bright the colors now you can see the lights okay so every part of has light and now these lights are all orange so you want some different colors so you can just take some blues here so you can see some blue some orange and you can just increase the size and if you don't want this bright color here so you can just go to color and decrease the alpha so the particle will uh, light will still be visible but the particle will not bright very much so you can now see this is how you add lights and now we will see the GPU but remember GPU part here don't support lights so I'll just duplicate this and just rename it GPU and place it here and I'll open it and I'll just remove delete and in here in particle setting I can just make it GPU so now there's no difference but you can increase the particle obviously because GPU can support lots of particles so like if I increase if I don't make it GPU it's CPU and if I increase the size increase the rate first save the scene because it can be crashed and second just check out my PC configuration so I have 32 GB RAM I have i7 and the graphic cards in NVIDIA 1070 Ti 8 GB and I now increase the particles and I will just decrease the color to 2 make it 2 
is still handling the particles so much the migrate is very much for example it's now lagging a bit and it has this 6 lakhs particle now i make it gpu make down I make it gpu and now see how much particle it can take 6 lakh again and it's running smoothly and now I can make it 10 lakh it's still smooth I can make it 20 lakh still smooth I will make it 50 lakh still smooth in 50 lakh particles it's running very smooth and 50 lakh particles so much so I can just I can make it 80 lakh and now 100 so I will not increase more than this because it's more than enough you can use this much particle for any fact but this is so much particles and it's running smoothly so this is GPU guys and these are 2 emitter GPU and CPU with lights so this is it for now I hope you like this and this was very basic so in next video we will check out the mesh render mesh particles in Angular Media Magra thank you for watching it keep learning bye bye